All right, I have the Tello out here, and this time I'm going to be replacing the blades with these blades from my, my Q90. And the reason is I only had three batteries because I broke one of them. So this is the original battery that comes with it. But these seem, seem to fit on there, so I figured I'd give them a try and uh, see how they do until I get the other ones in. All right, so we'll go ahead and put it down and take off. So I already got it set up with my me Wi-Fi extender and I'll go ahead and take off so you can already tell it's a lot quieter than it was with the other blades I mean you can barely hear this thing so I'll go ahead and hit record right now seems to be a lot quieter I don't know if it's going to affect the motors uh, make the motors hotter and make them wear out faster but it is definitely quieter so I'll go ahead and go into sport mode and just go ahead and test this FPV app out and I'll take it up some we'll see if we reach a limit nope the limit is not set on this one because I already changed it so you can take it up as high as you want for the most part not as high as you want. Let's go ahead and look into the here. Main settings. Altitude, I can take it up to 30 meters. So we'll just keep going up. Take it back a little more. Back some more. And just go straight up. Seems to be about it. Yep, I'm at 90, 103 feet. So that's it. So that's the... Uh, altitude limit of your Tello whenever you're using the app and then you can see I'm still I'm not drifting all over the place to still maintain this position even though it's not close to the ground using those um, optical sensors so that's not bad at all so I'll just go ahead and take it backwards some to show you the distance that you can get with this and still maintain a decent video quality so the video is recorded to the screen and um, you still have good quality on the video. So I'll keep going back a little more. I'm 200, 300 feet away, or 200 feet away. All right, I'm not doing a range test. I've already done that before. I just wanted to go with the app again. And uh, again, the good thing about the Tello FPV is hitting that home button. And it goes off of where it took off before and pretty much tries to come home so it's not going to be exact so what I would do is get it to where you can see it get it to where it's close and then go ahead and take over on your own so I'll go ahead and hit that home button again take it out of there bring it down alright so the rest of the video I'm going to see what kind of flight time I get with these um, propellers on there and we'll just fly it around till we get low battery All right, we'll be back
All right, so we got a low battery. So we'll go ahead and hit the home button again. Just see where it goes to. And it's going way up over the house, so I'll go ahead and bring it back. And let it go ahead and land itself. This is low battery, it's going to land. See if it's coming down. Looks to be coming down. So a good thing, once it's in low battery and it's landing, you can go ahead and turn it, um, move it if you want to, to make sure it lands where you want it to. I can also go, well, we'll just let it land. All right, so that's it. I'll go ahead and check the motors real quick. Motors aren't hot. Oh, yeah, they are hot. Motors are very hot. Seems this one's the hottest. Very hot, this one. Which is weird, because these here are just warm. But this one here is hot to touch. So not sure what that's about, why one of them is extremely hot. It could be just my battery, or um, that motor. But um, again, just wanted to try the three blades out there. And I just did it just until I get the other blades in. I'll definitely put those back on. This may affect your motors, your motor life. So just keep that in mind. All right, just doing a test. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe.